Okay. Ta-da. Ta-da. We're live. <laughs> hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Good evening or good afternoon. Good morning. I don't know. Yeah, this the is... sun never sets in Russia. Yeah, that's true. Almost never. 11. 11 time zones. Yeah. Time zone. Yeah, well, but, you know, we have uh, students from all over the world, not just mm -hmm. Russia. I just saw my student from the USA. I don't know if she's going to be here or there. Uh, okay, guys, give us some give us some time. Uh, hi, Liana. I was just speaking about you, <laughs> about uh, my student from the USA. Um, дайте нам, пожалуйста, минуту. Uh, нужно проверить и тут, и там, uh, что все идет в порядке. Я напоминаю тем из вас, кто смотрит uh, нас в Инстаграм, что эфир основной будет все-таки на Ютубе. Поэтому пока не поздно, переходите на YouTube, там вы сможете задавать нам вопросы. И сегодня у нас такая чит-чат-болталка. Вы, прежде всего, будете прорабатывать свое аудирование, да, то есть понимание на слух. Cool shirt, by the way. Thank you. What's your superpower? <laughs> I'm an English teacher. There you go. Um, yeah, anyway... Um, что я говорила, I got lost a bit. Uh, я говорила о том, что мы будем отвечать на ваши вопросы. Для вас это прекрасная практика понимания на слух и также практика, когда вы можете задать вопросы, ответить на вопросы. Ну, то есть вот такое вот живое максимальное общение. Как вы знаете, я практически преподаватель, я не люблю учебники, я не люблю вот эти вот упражнения, там, раскройте скобки, сделайте то, сделайте все. Это все не рабочие материалы, поэтому максимально я стараюсь приблизить своих учеников к живому английскому, к практике. И вот даже тех, кто пока что не мой ученик, не в моих программах, у вас тоже есть возможность пообщаться э, живьем, послушать э, английск, э, английскую, да, американскую, э, международную, европейскую, европейский английский да, речь. Um, so, so what shall we do? Um, we have questions, right? I have questions for you. Oh, for me? Do you, you have questions for me? And yes, then? I, and, and then I, I think they will, yeah, they will also ask you questions. Uh, so now we're going to be live from both devices and then we'll just uh, go to YouTube, okay? Okay, good. So let's get started. Yeah, okay, let's get started. Давайте начнем. Это мой муж, Лука. So, can you Hello. say something about yourself in Russian? Yes, maybe? I'm uh, Luka. She calls me Luchok, which is more fun. And uh, I am Marina's husband. And we usually speak English at home, even though we live in Italy. And um, yeah, it's because she always wants to speak English. She speaks Italian, but she prefers to speak English. That's, that's true. That's her love. And um, yeah, we live in Rome and we've been married for four years and I've been appearing in her videos quite a lot. So I'm sure that some of you know me already. Absolutely. And you can expect to see me again in the future because she likes to practice with you and me together in the videos. Yeah, that's true. So we actually have the first question. Shall we answer the questions from the Instagram or not? Oh, I thought it, this was going to be a YouTube video. Yeah. Uh, okay, Присоединяйтесь maybe. к нам на YouTube. Присоединяйтесь к нам на YouTube. Давайте, come on, guys. Вера, я вас жду тоже uh, на YouTube. Задавайте нам там вопросы. Mm -hmm. well, but let's answer the question. Okay, we can answer one question from Instagram. Yeah, we have then... a question. How is Lucas neck? Oh, uh, yeah, it's they, much they better. <laughs> so you do know... <laughs> Okay, no, yeah, I had a problem. My neck was stiff. I really couldn't move it. Um, now it's much better. Marina helped me. She rubbed a cream, magical cream. With my magic fingers. <laughs> uh, healing hands. And yes, I'm much better. Not 100%, but yeah, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, Vera, Thank you. for asking. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Vera is my student. Okay, okay. Um, well, I have a few questions just, you know, to warm up, okay. warming up, and then 
and then I hope our students will yeah ask sure questions because we want it to be like interactive so you could chit chat maybe you'll have some questions too. yes okay let's uh and start. probably Marina will stop me because I tend to speak a lot so if I mean if I go on a roll and blah 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 Marina has to stop me. Yeah, so I'm not being rude. <laughs> so I'm Italian, sorry. I, I like to... The way they talk, you know, and sometimes it's like, okay, so we got it. But, you know, Italians keep on talking. Um, good. So first question. First question. Yeah, I have some questions about English, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I think um, everyone will be interested in it. Absolutely. That. So my first question, and I think that most people will be quite surprised because uh, it's a very, the answer will be quite unexpected. Hmm. Uh, how old were you when you started learning English? So okay. when did you start learning English? How old were you? Well, uh, I was around 23, 24, say, tw yeah, 24. 24. So you started learning English when you were 24. And yes. It, it was not like five years old, 10 years old, 15 no, years old? No, because growing up, I learned French and I was fluent in French. And while French is beautiful, it's not as useful as English because you can go anywhere in the world and speak English. If you go anywhere and speak French, they're going to think, oh, that's nice. But they don't understand what you're saying when English is much more useful. And it's, it's a beautiful language, too. Ah, uh, say something in, in French. Um, je sais pas, j'ai tout dit français à l'école. Je, je m'ai oublié tout le mot uh, que je connaissais. Parfait. <laughs> Merci. I was learning French, too, at the university, so I got everything he said. Yeah, but I also forgot everything, unfortunately. If you don't practice the language, then you just lose the touch. It's like a muscle, right? If you don't use it, if you don't go yes. to the gym. Yes. I mean, I, I really used to be as fluent in French as I am in English. And wow, really? Yes, absolutely. The schools are that good in Italy? Well, no. I mean, I just liked it that much. I, I like languages in general. And mm -hmm. uh, I like French very much. And I was even acting. I was on stage acting uh, in French plays. And yes, um, I mean, I'm sure if I go to France, or if I start studying French again in one or two months, it will get back to me. But yeah. as of now, if I have to speak French, I probably end up mixing up French and English a lot. Yeah. Okay. Um, so second question is, how did you learn English? You were 25. Mm -hmm. And that's what many students, many people would like to know, you know, like, if you are already not a teenager, if you're mm -hmm. not a kid, then it's a bit more complicated to mm -hmm. start learning the language and to be really, really fluent. Yes. Let's say on one hand, it's more difficult when you're older because obviously your brain is not as, you know, uh, spongy. It cannot absorb as much as when you're a kid. And that makes it more difficult. On the other hand, when you're older, you have a method and you have you're more goal oriented and you're more organized and you're more focused so that helps that compensates yeah i think it really helps because the older you get the more like languages you know yeah. and it's like more you know more connections you you can make more connections when you learn another language and you already yeah. like have some background Absolutely. With the previous one. So Absolutely. I think it's even easier. Yeah. So what was the question? Um, uh, how did you learn English? How did I learn English? Well, I started like everyone usually starts. So I, um, I went to school to learn English. So I had a teacher. But um, my teachers were boring. <laughs> so like no, they were nothing like Marina. I wish I had Marina as a teacher. Um, I wish I had Marina as a teacher too. <laughs> Unfortunately, my teachers were really boring and really old school, like, you know. Yeah, um, book, 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 exercise. Yes, exactly. And I didn't have fun at all. So after 
less than two months, I stopped going to school. So yeah, but school, where was the school? Uh, the school was in England. So I, that's like the first thing. England, you England, went, you want to, I to went, learn. I went English. to England, yes. He went to England to learn English. Yes. When he was 24. Okay, and then? And then after I stopped going to school, I started working in a cafe. And at first I had problems. I I don't even know why they hired me <laughs> because I didn't really speak much English. But um, it was a good way to, you know, to make efforts to learn every day, to pick up a new word, a new expression. And uh, after a few months, I, I became kind of fluent. Not that my vocabulary was broad, but fluent in the sense that I had no problems understanding, catching the sense uh, of what people uh, were saying. Yeah, because still like people use more or less the same expression, yes. the same vocabulary. It's, it's all around like, I don't know, one or 2000 expressions. Absolutely. I mean, we're right now we're talking and we're using, you know, very few words. Um, and that's all you need to, yeah. to speak a language, to be... To understand it. Yeah. To... So, yeah, I was, I was on the field. I was... Um, and then, of course, I would, um, I would go home and still look at some books and some but stuff. Yeah, did, by... you, did you have a very thick accent when you started? Oh, yeah. Italians usually have very yeah. strong accents. Yeah. Like Russians. Mm. <laughs> No, it's yes. stronger. No, yeah, only because you don't have a an accent. No, I mean, um, yes, I have a very thick accent. So tell, say, say something with an Italian accent. I don't know. I mean, uh, when I started, I spoke uh, like uh, like I was, uh, you know, like I was a baby, and uh, an Italiano vero. Yes, an Italiano vero, and uh, it was uh, funny because the uh, people. Uh, kept uh, telling me that uh, I sounded very funny <laughs> and but I sounded very stupid uh, in my head and uh, I wanted uh, to be an actor okay, okay. Can I stop that? <laughs> so I wanted to be an actor and I, I wanted to get rid of my accent and act in English without without an accent mm -hmm. and many years later I can I still have an accent yeah, but, but not, at least when I speak neutral. Yeah, people don't say, are you from Italy right away like they used to. Yeah, they usually don't ask me either. And am I speaking too fast? Yeah, guys, give us some feedback. Дайте нам, пожалуйста, обратную связь, а то мы заболтались. Понятно ли вам, говорит ли Лука в нормальном для вас темпе, или ему замедлится, или он может продолжать в таком же ритме, или может быть чуть быстрее. Как у вас с пониманием? Давайте такой чек-поинт сделаем. Сколько примерно вы вот, поняли из того, что он говорил? 30%, 50%, 90%, almost everything, практически все. By the way, те, кто смотрит нас в Инстаграм, мы отвечаем на вопросы в Ютубе, поэтому переходите на Ютуб, там не трясется камера, там все гораздо удобнее. Ссылочка прикреплена в моих сторис. Yes, Instagram guys, it's not good for my neck to look here, so it's better if I look at YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, so the questions you asked me were your questions. Uh, yeah, I asked them how much they got. Oh, wait a second, I, I just don't like this I'm on my background. <laughs> Everything should be beautiful. Yeah, oh, that's very I don't important. Like it. Okay. Yeah, this way is much better. Uh, okay, yeah, YouTube is better. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, 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 good, good, good. Oh, almost everything. Uh, okay, then let's keep on uh, talking. Yeah, no, I just read uh, Luca is Schumacher. Schumacher, like the, the driver, Formula One yeah. driver. Why? <laughs> Very good. Okay, Svetlana, hello. That's another student from from my group from Chicago. Okay, nice. I've been to Chicago. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Um. Actually, what about accents? Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite accent or like um? Accents are beautiful. So I mean, really, what I just said, I wanted to get rid of my accent is because I wanted to act in America. 
where I started to be an actor and I didn't want to go to auditions and people, oh, sorry, you know, you have an accent, you cannot play this role. And that's the only reason why I cared about my accents. But in general, I, I don't think people should try hard and get rid of the accent. Um, because unless it's, it's a super strong unless, unless it's, it's, a, mean, it's a problem to be understood. Because sometimes yeah. when you have a very thick accent, people don't understand what you're saying. Okay, to that extent, you should work on your accent. But you should not be obsessed. Oh, my God. You should not be embarrassed by your accent because accents are beautiful. Um, so the question was, what was your, what's your yeah. favorite accent? I really don't have a favorite one. Um, I think all accents are beautiful. And even in the, in the English language, like uh, English native speakers, they have so many different accents like British, Irish, Scottish, uh, South African, Australian. Um, so many of them. Um, Do you North, have a favorite one? I, I really, I don't know. Uh, I would say British accents, but that's still a native uh, speaker's accent. As a foreigner, I would say, um, I don't know, the funniest is Indian. That's, oh, really, yeah. that's really funny. <laughs> I, I love when they speak, it's just beautiful. Yeah, um, with Indian accent, so people would uh, understand. No, I don't know how to how to speak English with a, with a, an Indian accent. Um, <laughs> chicken, chicken, masala, butter. I am much better when I speak with Italian accent. <laughs> okay. uh, sorry, guys, that's really bad. Um, but um, of course, French accent is very uh, romantic. Um, I like Portuguese accent because it's very musical. Okay, great, great. Well, we have a couple of questions, but first let's uh, follow. And Russian people. accent is actually fun too, to listen. <laughs> I actually like it. Yeah, <laughs> it's I mean, very, because it's very similar to In a family. way, I would like Marina to have a Russian accent. It would be more fun. But on the other hand, I understand that she wants to get rid of it. I mean, she doesn't want to have an accent because she's a teacher, so. Uh, that's a that's a fair point. Yeah. Anyway, um, well, guys, we'll answer your questions in a while. Uh, just I guess one more. Question. Okay. Uh, what's the best way to learn and practice English in your opinion? Like according to your experience. Okay. Well, according to my experiences. <laughs> the best way is to speak like people speak, like not to be fixated on, on rules. On on rules and exactly. Like you should forget about that. Of course, you need rules too. Yeah. It's important. You should not forget about it. You should learn it, but yeah. you should not be fixated like, oh, I am afraid yes. to speak because I'm afraid what if exactly. I make a mistake. Exactly. That's what I always tell my students. That because time. you know what? Like I was speaking, making so many grammar mistakes and I didn't realize it. At but the beginning. At the beginning. But I realized that people were understanding me and we were having conversations. And then as time went by and I kept speaking, uh, I every time I would catch a sentence that was said in a different way by a native speaker. And I was like, oh, I've been saying that wrong. Uh, so I should fix that and I should say it in the right way so you learned it, from yes the from during the conversation you exactly know. or uh, watching movies for instance with subtitles in English I would you know I would check the spelling I would check that you know that the sentence uh, how the sentence was structured and if it was different from my way I would adjust my way I would you know correct it I would fix it and okay. yeah, but again, not to be fixated on rules is a good starting point because you lose fear, <clears throat> you lose embarrassment. You just want to speak as people speak. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to ask a very important question. Mm -hmm. you, you will have time to think about that and then I will uh, switch from Instagram to YouTube. So what's the what what's one of the most common slang word or just word or expression mm -hmm. uh, that you need to know that you need to use and 
I mean, it can okay. <laughs> take time, but not, not wearing, okay? No, I won't. <laughs> not wearing. Okay, спросила Луку. Лука, во-первых, он жил очень много лет в Англии и в Америке. Я его спросила, какой, на твой взгляд, одно из самых незаменимых слов или фраз, или выражений, или сленга, который каждый человек, изучающий английский, должен знать. И сейчас я попрощаюсь с Инстаграмом. Ребята, переходите к нам на YouTube, потому что сейчас мы будем отвечать на вопросы тех, кто пишет нам в YouTube. See you. See you there. Okay. Okay, I need some time to okay. watch the video. Sure. Can I answer already? Yeah, sure, go for it. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, if you ask me like this on my feet, I cannot think of anything. I know. Like something super simple. Yeah. For something. instance, when you start learning English uh, by the book, you learn how to say, how are you? Okay, yeah. how are you? Whereas I never say, how are you? I mean, I say that very seldom. I usually say, how are you doing? Which is, how are you doing? But you don't have to say, how are you doing? You say, how are you doing? Or where are you going? You say, where are you going? Where are you from? It's not where are you from? You can just cut it, make it shorter. Uh, where are you from? Or this is very slang. You say sup, which is what's up. Okay, what is up? What's up? You say what's up? sup. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to. Indian English is fine. <laughs> okay, I'm reading some of the comments. Yeah. I have Russian accent, and when I speak Spanish, people think I'm a native native Spanish speaker. Yes, it's true because we um. Italians, Russians, or Spaniards, we, we really um, emphasize certain consonants, especially the, the R. Like a native speaker cannot say R. Uh, yeah. Maybe people from Scotland, they use R. Yeah. But if you're from well, Ireland. Ireland too, the mm, parts of Ireland, yes. But most native English speakers cannot roll the R, and we can. Again, Italian, Spaniards, Russians, so we really strong emphasize certain consonants and the R in particular. Mm -hmm. So I um, I can see that. I can see that some sometimes, you know, you might have a Russian accent, maybe it's not too strong and it can be mistaken for Spanish. It can happen, yeah. Uh, so they say that you have a very cool and inspiring t-shirt which <laughs> makes them want to learn Italian after English. Oh, that's cool. You should. So when you're done with English, come to my YouTube channel, which is actually not just mine. It's also Marina's channel because she's part of it. And say who created this t-shirt. Well, actually, this one was created by her. Yes. <laughs> we, we are creating t-shirts yes. with... Funny t-shirts with funny... It's a new thing that we're doing. Yeah, with funny expressions, and that's our baby. This is the first t-shirt we created. Yeah, I actually have the same, but it's on the way. It was not delivered yet. I don't yeah. know why. Yesterday we received this one, but not mine. So we're going to have the same. Yeah. Uh, and on our channel on YouTube, we will... We will be, wear we'll such t-shirts. Yeah, yeah Dolce Vita, that's the, the name of the channel. So once you're done with English, you can, you know, move on Join to... Join our Italian. It gets easier. Every language you learn, it gets easier because your brain is already trained. Yeah. So we have quite an interesting question. Oh, I see. I, I can know. read it. Okay. Luca, could you tell us some funny story from your childhood? Oh, boy. Uh, uh, I have okay. no idea. What are you going to tell us? Because these uh, questions are quite tricky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You never know, like, you need to think very quickly. Yeah. From my childhood, uh, okay, um, I grew up in a village. And well, it's not a village because people, Russian people think that village is a village when it's, like, really with a bathroom outside. And okay. So well, yeah. it's a small town. In very, a small town. Very small town. And... Um, <laughs> I don't know. I was uh, when I was a kid. It was fun because 
you don't know what else is out there. Um, what can I say? From my childhood, that is funny. Uh, I should ask your mom. Let's call your mom. You, you caught me by surprise now. Something funny. Well, tell them a story about the cat. I mean, it's not funny. Um, no, that's a sad story. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I'll tell you something. When I was, uh, yeah, when my brother, we went to Paris and we were kids. Oh, okay. And um, we were obviously with our parents. And How we, old were you? I think I was maybe six and my brother was 10. And for us, you know, living in the village, I mean, in the small town it's and awesome. going to Paris, to the big city, you know, it was, it was like a dream. And we were in a cafe, and uh, <laughs> and somebody left a tip on the on the counter at the cafe, the bar on the table. Uh, was actually on the counter. And um, and um, my my brother didn't know that you know people would tip. He didn't know what that, so he thought he found some money, <laughs> and he took it. And then he went to my in parents. Restaurant. Yes, and he didn't tell any, anything to my parents right away. So when we were outside, we were going somewhere, and he was like, "Look, look, well, look what I found." And my parents were like, "Where did you find? Uh, where did you find the money?" And I said, "Oh, it was on the counter. So it was probably for you know for people to grab." So we really had no idea of the concept of tipping. Um, and maybe going, going to restaurants. In a big city, yes, and um, and going to restaurants, we will not go to restaurants that often. But also, it was the tipping policy that it was like kind of new to to us. It was, yeah. After that, you learned. Yes, no, no. We, I always tip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, thanks for your question. Uh, well, guys, let's see if someone else has a question. Uh, there was a question. What's the situation in Rome now? Rome is, uh, well, like in Russia, like in the rest of the world, the virus is still here, but Italy has been divided into different spots, and each spot has a different color. The darker the color, the worse is the situation, which means that they have more restrictions. Rome is, as of now, is yellow, is a yellow spot, which, which means which means is the lightest uh, level of uh, danger. So um, let's say schools are open, cafes and restaurants are open, but they have to close at six o'clock. And you can go out and do pretty much everything, but you have to wear a mask all the time. And you can now go out after 10 o'clock. Other regions are not as um, lucky as we are. But all in all, I mean, I think in the, in the past uh, four or five days, it's kind of getting better because the virus is still striking very hard, but it stopped increasing. So now it, it got to a peak and it's kind of stable. Um, so let's, you know, keep fingers crossed. I mean, we know that it's still going to take some time before this is over. But yeah. what can you do? It is what it is, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. 2020, boo. Yeah, that's the worst year yeah. so yeah. far. Well, maybe not for everyone. I mean, I hope not for everyone, but... For many, many people, it's not the best year, unfortunately. Okay, guys, questions. Questions, questions, questions. If you still want to talk and to practice. Uh, пока все тут вот думают над вопросом, я вам напомню о том, что уже завтра стартует мой курс по разговорному английскому. Вот тут вот комментарии есть. Очень хочется также свободно говорить по-английски. Каролина, вы и все остальные, кому действительно хочется очень говорить свободно по-английски, вы в нужном месте, потому что я тот учитель, который помогает 
говорить на английском свободно. И завтра начинается мой короткий разговорный курс English Shaker. Я э, прикреплю ссылочку под этим видео, поэтому вот прям прокрутите вниз, и вы увидите ссылочку, те, кто смотрит в повторе. И э, join. Join the, the course. And your English will be better and better every day. I can promise you that. More questions? Um, I don't know. They are maybe very shy. Some? Uh, no, I checked. Guys, don't be shy. Don't Ask be me shy. questions. You can ask any question. Well, I mean, not any question, but you know I what? <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm, well, let's wait for a couple of minutes. It's true, Alex. At least in 2020, we have TV, cell phones, internet. It's so true. I mean, like, if you want to, if you have to be stuck at home and kill time, now it's it's so easy. And honestly, you don't have to just kill time. You can you have access to info, so you can learn a lot of things. I I during yeah. the past few months I wasn't working because I, I cannot work. I work with tourists, so I don't have a job right now since March. And uh, of course, I watch a lot of um, TV shows and stuff. But I also use my time to learn a lot of things. So I read a lot of books and I. I watch a lot of uh, tutorials to to learn to do different things. So and you I, improved your our channel. Yes, and I We're worked on my on YouTube that. channel and stuff. And he made me start the YouTube channel. You know, that's actually his I, job. Yes, I pushed her because I think YouTube is so much better than than mm -hmm. Facebook. I hate Facebook personally, and Don't Instagram. Say that. Otherwise, we can be blocked. I don't care. <laughs> No, I mean this is YouTube. They can they YouTube they, is great. Yeah, YouTube, YouTube. They like they like you when you say I hate you I, I hate Facebook. Uh so I think YouTube is so much better as a platform. I mean uh, the videos stay there forever. You I mean it's just um better, better, better. Okay. What's so your favorite some... music? Uh, wait, was there another question before? Yeah, there that? were like many. Well the first <laughs> this one is what's the difficult. wisest advice? You ever received, received or given? Uh, I'm not good at advice, so um, I think you should give advice only when asked for. I think I you always really, tell me everything should be in moderation. So I think it's a good advice. Yes, that's that's true. Um, but I remember this is one thing that my father taught me when I was a kid, and I think that's a very wise advice. Um, He said that basically, if you want something in life and you don't get it, you have to keep fighting for it. Uh, that there's no such a thing as luck as you you make your own luck. So you can cry about it and it's not going to change anything. Or you can go for it and keep trying, keep pushing harder. Um, yeah. So a loser is somebody who just stops trying and decides to complain instead. Yeah. Good one. How do you, uh, okay. Uh, how, how did you meet? How did I meet with Marina? Okay, we were in Venice. Uh, I was uh, riding a gondola. <laughs> She was my client. <laughs> no, we met through the magic of the internet. Uh, we were both um, into um, internations, which is a network of expats. You should explain what expats is. Um, yes. Uh, существует в английском языке такое понятие, как экспаты. Экспаты – это люди, которые по делам или по работе приехали жить в другую страну. Я в Италии экспат, например. И существует такое огромное международное сообщество, которое называется Internations. Это, естественно, американское сообщество, которое покрывает просто весь мир. Это есть э, его э, branches, как по-русски сказать, э, 
есть офисы, да, назовем, есть и там и в Москве, и в Питере, и в ну, больших городах России, и в Риме, и в Милане, и, и в Германии, и во Франции, в общем, везде, по всему миру. It's covering all the world. И существует, естественно, сайт, где ты регистрируешься. Это не совсем тот сайт знакомств, про который, может быть, многие подумали. Нет, там э, люди встречаются э, на разные мероприятия, да, то есть там это не дейтинг сайт, где ты ты, ты, ты встречаешься, хотя и такое тоже может быть, видите, как у нас получилось. Там организуются различные ивенты, мероприятия, например, там поход в музей, давайте сходим на сальсу, давайте пойдем в ресторан. Окей, 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 now we talk too much. So we were both uh, registered with internations and um, I... Um, You know, I was interested in meeting people from all over the world, even though I'm Italian. So technically, I would technically I was not an expat. In a way, I was because Rome was not my native city. So I moved from New York to Rome, and I didn't know anybody in Rome. And I wanted to, you know, get to know people not just from Rome, but people from all over the world. And this is how we met. And she was not supposed to uh, live in Italy at all. She decided to stay in Italy a few months after she met me because we were together. So she's a I real Jena yeah. di Cabrista. Da. Da. Because, that, because you're DiCaprio. Yes. Let's see, I don't speak Russian yet, uh, but I know how to say Jena di Cabrista. <laughs> What is your favorite music? Um, okay, my favorite singer. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's going to forever. No. All um, right, all right. In a nutshell, uh, Bruce Springsteen is my favorite singer. As a genre, uh, rock music is my favorite. But I love all kinds of music because music also depends on your mood. So sometimes I'm in a mood to listen to classical music. Sometimes I want to listen to opera. Sometimes I want to listen to rock or pop. Or um, what I never want to listen to is salsa. That's. And I, I love it. I mean, I love almost all kinds of music except for salsa. And yeah, but rock music, um, rock on. And uh, Bruce Springsteen in particular. That's my favorite. What yeah. kind of? Sorry, can, can you connect the light because it's oh, very yeah, sure. dark? Oh yeah, Just uh, plug yeah. Okay, really... I'll be right back. No, no, to the computer. This oh. thing. Uh, темнеет, вы наверное видите, у нас свет меняется, поэтому нам надо включить немножко света. Экраны сейчас начинают темнеть. Как это включить? And actually, I'm running out of battery too. Okay, then I oh, need a uh, charger. Let me get the charger. Сейчас уже мы почти заканчиваем, на самом деле. Так, ну-ка. О, свет, да будет свет. Вот так вот. Лучше, наверное. Окей, so we have very positive couple. Thank you. So I will read you the next question. What kind of country would you like... To meet next time, to go, maybe to visit. What kind of, what what country would you like to visit next time? I guess that's the question. Okay. So, mm -hmm. какую, какую страну он хочет поехать в следующий раз? Or what exactly do you mean? Sorry. Он видит у нас свет. Well, I cannot go any further than this. Okay. Is it on? Okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. It's good. Okay. So what kind of uh what country would I like to go next? Yeah, what what kind of country no, would you like? What what country to, would you like to visit well, next? Okay, um next country I would like to visit. If I really could, if I had a magic wand right now, I would go to Australia. Yeah, Australia is <laughs> or New Zealand or both. <laughs> But, Has anyone ever been there? Кто-нибудь из наших слушателей был в Австралии? Напишите, как вам там. I'm personally very scared. 
oh, to yeah. go there Spiders. Ah, <laughs> because there are so many insects and, and I'm really, really scared of them. Okay, I have a question for you. Does anybody know how to get rid of fear for bugs? So please tell Marina so we can go to Australia or someplace where there are spiders and, or bugs, you know, flying bugs. Does anybody have this and, you know, fixed it somehow? I'm sure there's a way to fix this. Yeah. So yeah, Australia, Australia is someplace really? very, very like different. The next one? What about no, I mean, I have a list of many places I would like to go to. But if I had to pick one, yeah, probably Australia. What about Japan? I, I just told you, like, I have many I would love to go to. Well, I would go to Japan. Japan, uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, if I could pick, and Japan would be my mm -hmm. next one. I really, I would really, I really like to go to Japan. Mm -hmm. And have sushi every day. <laughs> You'll probably get tired. <laughs> Very positive couple. Thank you. Um, I think we've done. Oh, no, quite. I don't want to go. No, <laughs> I like talking to you. I've never been to Australia, but I would like to go there. Yep. Although some uh, parts of Russia are very close to Japan and yeah. much closer to Australia. For us in Rome to get to Australia is 24 hours. If you're lucky. If, if you're, you're lucky, lucky with stopovers. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's incredibly far. And also expensive to travel there. And to be there. To be there. I think it's one of the most expensive countries. Well, I don't know, but it's just like the tickets, the plane tickets are very expensive. What's the most expensive country in the world? Well, the U.S. The U.S.? Not Absolutely. Singapore? Mm, well, I mean, it depends. Uh, places like New York or Los Angeles are probably the most expensive ones. Yeah. Mm. London is super expensive. But of course, I've never been to Hong Kong, Singapore. Yeah, I think but Hong Kong I, I don't, Singapore. I don't think they're more expensive than the U.S. I think they are. Well, anyway. Yeah. We will know when we get there. Hopefully, soon. Okay, now read in Russian. Okay. <laughs> we we'll have some questions in Russian. These animals, когда нибудь валон валон Okay, what was that? Um, did you learn? No, wait. Did you practice when? Когда uh, нибудь is ever. Okay, and what's volunteerство? Uh, so something about volunteering. Yeah, have you ever volunteered? Okay. Have you ever done volunteering? If yes. If yes, is Lida. С чем? С чем? Она был. <laughs> yeah, I think people will start, you know, okay, leaving. <laughs> leaving. Yeah, it's um, my Russian. Is very... So, what was it about volunteering? Yeah, have you ever? If I volunteer, yes, I volunteered um, here in Rome, helping with homeless people. Me too. Yeah, and um, mm. well. I volunteer with um, old people to help old people and blood. Yeah, donating blood. That's also volunteering. And um, yeah, this is pretty much what I can think of right now. Yep. Yeah, Switzerland is one of the most expensive countries, actually. Yes, yeah. Switzerland. Absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> True. Do you live in Switzerland? No, Elena lives um, in Miami. Although, actually, Scandinavia, like Sweden, that's... Oh, yes. No, that way, forget about New York. So, I mean, Stockholm was the most expensive ever. Yeah. Like, the, the, the metro ticket was 450 for one ride. I mean, like... Yeah, we went to Sweden uh, like three years ago, and the metro ticket cost four. 
Euro 50. Can yeah. you imagine? Can you believe it? 4,50 евро стоил билет на метро в одну сторону. В то время как mm-hmm. в Риме, in Rome, it costs one and a half euros. And in Moscow, it's like 40 rubles, which is yeah. 50 cents. And we went to a restaurant, I remember, we had a yeah. like 30% off. And we ate like nothing and we spent like 30 euros per person. And I was like, I was shocked. Like, yeah, like just starters. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's the most expensive place I've been to. I mean, maybe Switzerland, Switzerland. is even worse. Switzerland, for sure. But, um, yeah. Have you ever been to Russia? Do you like it? I love Russia. <laughs> I've been twice. I've been to Moscow and St. Petersburg. Twice in St. Petersburg, just once in Moscow. And um, no, I love it. I was just telling Marina that uh, because she was in Moscow recently. And I, I'm like, I was like, oh, I wish I could be there too. And um, no, I'm very fond of Russia. I think I was Russian in a previous life. Uh, I think I was a lot of things in previous lives. But one of, one of the past lives, I think I was Russian. So, yes, I, um, I would love just to go and spend more time there. I'm very fascinated. And although when I think of Russia, I still think of classics. I, I, I think of Tolstoy. I think of Chekhov. Um, you know, it's... Uh, He thinks of snow in January in Moscow. Yeah. I mean, she's like, no, you don't want to go to Moscow in January. I'm like, why? That's what I picture. That's what it, what's in my mind. You know, it's beautiful. It's part of the, the package. And so, I mean, I enjoyed Moscow in the summer very much. But I still, I would love to go there in winter. I feel like I'm in a novel by... By uh, Tolstoy. He's very romantic. Yes. <laughs> We have another question. Uh, my daughter's time. Uh, my daughter's time in Montreux. Mon- uh, where is that? Mon- Montreux? I guess. Uh, Switzerland? Switzerland? Okay. The French part. Yeah. I believe it or not, I've never been to Switzerland. It's, um, yeah, I've been all over Europe. I think I went to the Italian part of Switzerland when I was a oh, kid, but I mean, like, oh, maybe I was on the border. I don't remember, but I didn't really visit Switzerland yet. Which countries have you visited in Europe uh, with the exception of Iceland and Norway and Switzerland? I think I've been everywhere. There are many places in Moscow. Yes, there are indeed. It's a huge city, and I loved it. Okay, can I say something? Sure. Um, when I was in Moscow, once I was just walking randomly, and uh, I started um, acting, and I started Stanislavski, and I was just walking randomly. I mean, it's a huge, huge city, and you wouldn't expect to run into a place you will love just like this without planning it. So I'm, I'm walking and all of a sudden I turn around and I'm like, oh, that picture looks like Stanislavski. And, and then I stopped and I actually read and it was Stanislavski's house. And I just went in there, I bought a ticket and I went to visit his house. And I was like, I mean, full of emotions in that moment. And it's unbelievable in such a huge city, I didn't look for it. So in a way I attracted it. What are the chances? And what are the chances that in that particular moment as I was walking, I just turn around and I see a picture and I stop. So it was meant to be. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's laughing because I talk, talk. But no, it's, I'm not laughing. It's okay. just meant to be because I was meant to be too. So yes. you know, everything is connected. Yes. So. Um, okay. I think everybody's tired of listening to me. I probably chew, chewed your ears off. Uh, do you like fishing? Um, no, I never tried. I, I never tried, and honestly, I, I don't think I would like it because um, I would be too sensitive to see a fish uh, catching. I, I don't think I could do it, honestly. 
How many languages do you speak? Italian, English, Spanish, a uh, bit of French, and I speak a dialect from my region, which is another language. Chuchu. 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 Guys, write in English. Either yes, why, or, why? I mean, you should write questions in English. Yeah. Even if it's very basic, simple English. Don't worry, I'll understand. Oh, we have another question. How do you prefer? To relax. Um, this is something I do pretty much every day. I take walks. I take long walks. I just walk. Sometimes when I walk, I listen to stuff like podcasts or, you know, audiobooks. Sometimes I listen to music. Sometimes I don't listen to anything. I just walk. I mean, for me, walking is one of the best ways to, to relax. And I try to do it every day because it's nice to breathe fresh air, to get sunlight and everything. But even if it's dark and winter, I still like to go out and take long walks. So favorite way. And then, of course, reading and many other ways. But... <laughs> Still with Instagram? No, no. I want to. I just. I, I want to make a story to tell uh, them that we're still alive. And okay. you have another question. Uh, wait. That's in Russian. Yeah. Okay. We're still alive. The Isn't that the is, same question? Like uh, practice, like uh, free time, something. Yeah. What do you do in your free time? Right? Is that the meaning of the question? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I just answer. Uh, when are you going to Kiev? Actually, yes. Thank you for saying that because when I said all over Europe, I've been everywhere. No, I haven't been to Kiev yet. I haven't been to Ukraine yet. So it's another country that is missing from the puzzle. And believe it or not, um, Marina and I had a plan to go there in, uh, in May this year, in 2020. But then... Also, um, not only Kiev, also means... And Minsk too, but but especially Kiev was uh, was the plan for 2020, and uh, yeah, that's yeah true, that's true. freaking coronavirus screwed up all the plans. I can say freaking it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Word. You yeah. can say anything you want. Okay. <laughs> I'm not allowed to oh. say bad words in front of Marina, so <laughs> I always have to behave. But. So, um, yeah, maybe next year we'll get a chance to go to Kiev, hopefully. I guess maybe we should stop. Okay, I guess we should stop. <laughs> people you are feel tired. like talking. The people are not, I mean. No, I'm not tired. I'm not tired at Guys, all. Please ask questions in English. But yes, ask me questions in English. If you're listening to this and you understand what I'm saying, at least the sense of what I'm saying, then you're capable of writing the questions in English. Uh, Luca, do you know the meaning of Luchog? Of course I know the meaning of that. I even know a song. <laughs> Look, Luchog. Zalataya Luca Vita. See? Course. It was a I'm hit. I'm not hiding from... anything from you. Yes, when we got married and we had a lot of songs, we had a DJ at, at some point. They played this song. <laughs> yes. What language do you speak with Marina? Uh, we speak English most of the time. Marina's parents. Oh, sorry. Um, Marina's parents. We, um, well, Marina is always there to be the interpreter. I speak my very, very basic Russian. I use my hands and I speak English. Um, yes. But well, but when you text my mom? When I text Marina's mother, uh, I usually use Google Translator. <laughs> I, I, I write in Russian. Yeah. What's your favorite book? I have two. 
And I don't know, one day I would say one, another day I would say the other. So one is the Count of Monte Cristo. Why did I say Cristo? Uh, the Count of Monte Cristo. Um, it's a very yes. nice book. I loved it. By Dumas. And yes, I recommended it to uh, Marina and she loved it. And the second one is called The Grapes of Wrath uh, by Steinbeck. It's an American book, a uh, novel about the Great Depression in, in America. And I also recommended it to Marina and she got depressed. Um, but mean, it's a great I mean, great not novel. depressed, but like very upset. Yeah, it's, it's a very sad movie, uh, movie. There's also a movie, a classic movie by John Ford. So I recommend the movie too, The Grapes of Wrath. I don't know if uh, what's the title in Russian, if Grosdegnia. it's available. Okay. Sure, sure. Uh, have you ever been to Kazan? No, and Russia is huge. Well, that's huge. one of the cities I would like to visit. So she would like to take me there. Yeah. Uh, we also... Speaking of Russia, we would like to go to Crimea, Crimea. Krim. Krim, Krim, okay. Yes. You're welcome. All right, are there any other question? Who was yes, вопросы? Ну, давай уж по-русски тогда, че уж там. По-английски, по-английски. Нет, давай уже. Все тебя слушали, слушали целый час, теперь давай. Ты напрягись. Yeah, да, конечно. Okay, and remember, thumbs up. О, oh, да, мы же на YouTube, точно. Мне надо yeah, выучить. YouTube. Мне нужно выучить новую сгороговорку. Подписывайтесь, ставьте лайки. Что там еще? Mm -hmm. yeah, leave, uh, yeah, leave a comment. Да, напишите комментарий обязательно. You're so beautiful. I think you're talking about Marina, but... <laughs> Thank you. I'm happy that she's beautiful. I doubt, actually. I think she, Tanya is talking to you. <laughs> but anyway, thank you. It's the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for being so patient and being with us. And it was a nice chit chat. And we can do this more often. Um, yeah. I'm happy. I'm always happy to you to chat with people, especially now that we're kind of stuck at home and I'm not working. So it's, um, it's yeah. great to, to have these uh, chats. And yes, I'm going to leave you in the hands of your favorite teacher. All right. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, night, depending on where you live. Thank you. Craig, thank you're you, welcome. Ciao. Oh, sorry. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Ой, ну отлично. <coughs> Мне кажется, у нас получился ну, такой неплохой эфирчик. Целый час. Я думала полчаса, и все. А вот, вот так вот целый час уже пролетел. Я даже, честно говоря, не заметила. Напишите мне, пожалуйста, обратную связь. Мне действительно нужно понять, насколько такие эфиры, они для вас информативны и полезны все-таки. Um... Стоит ли устраивать такого рода мероприятия здесь почаще, или вы все-таки предпочитаете уроки мои, как, как я вела на прошлой неделе? Кстати говоря, очень скоро я также начну ну, на следующей неделе записывать и выкладывать уроки здесь на YouTube. Как уже сказали раньше, меня Лука пушит, давай YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. И действительно, YouTube – это очень классная новая, для меня новая, вообще, конечно, старая площадка. И я буду здесь делать а, такие серьезные курсы а, на YouTube. Не буду сейчас раскрывать всех секретов, но у меня а, огромные такие глобальные идеи, мысли по поводу развития YouTube, поэтому подписывайтесь на мой канал. Я буду делать а, небольшие курсики для разных уровней. Особенно, чего у меня нету, это уровня для совсем нулевочек, прям вот совсем, и я этим займусь в ближайшее время. Ольга, спасибо большое за вопрос. Давайте мы его отложим на следующий раз, поэтому приходите, 
Лучок уже у нас ушел а, из кадра. Приходите и в следующий раз зададите нам вопрос. Или, может быть, уже как раз у нас будет там, очередная годовщина, мы вам расскажем, что мы делали. Хотя в реалиях этого времени настоящего, ничего особого сделать не получится, никуда поехать, к сожалению, тоже не получится, поэтому будем, скорее всего, дома, ну или максимум днем куда-то выйдем. А, Марина, вы классно, мы прослушала на одном дыхании. Спасибо большое. Расскажите о курсе, который стартует завтра. Каролина, сейчас расскажу. Очень полезно, как всегда, у вас Марина. Спасибо, Екатерина. А, song about the chocolate was funny. Yes. Окей, ну давайте тогда я попрощаюсь с с большинством из вас, и сейчас те, кому интересно узнать про курс, поскольку есть вопросы, я вам сейчас про него в двух словах расскажу, и вы задайте мне вопросы обратно, да, то есть обратная связь мне тоже от вас нужна, если что-то я сейчас не, не договорю. Итак, в среду, 18 ноября, стартует мой... Курс по разговорному английскому English Shaker. Почему Shaker? Потому что это тот курс, который точно встряхнет ваш английский, встряхнет вас. Знаете, если у вас в жизни какая-то такая яма, или, ну, я не знаю, что-то такое, вот когда вот рутина, 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 если вам нужны новые эмоции, то это точно в Shaker. Все люди, которые в него приходят, которые ну, занимаются, естественно, да, потому что можно прийти, купить курс и забить. Нет, если вы купили и занимаетесь, то в вашей жизни точно произойдут перемены к лучшему. И прежде всего, конечно, в английском в языке. А во-вторых, такой будет эмоциональный подъем, новые друзья, новые эмоции, поэтому это вот прежде всего такой вот очень эмоциональный фон классный. А если идти в детали, то... Этот курс, он на практику. Вам не понадобится много времени для того, чтобы заниматься каждый день. Да? То есть люди, которые ко мне приходят, они обычно говорят, Марин, хочу учиться, но вот только не по часу там уроки, мне что-нибудь бы попроще. English Shaker – это как раз-таки тот самый лайтовый формат. Почему? Потому что там каждые 48 часов вы получаете небольшой урок. Небольшой – это значит небольшой, 15-20 минут, не больше. То есть, допустим, первый день вы просто смотрите урок, а во второй день вы выполняете домашку, на которую у вас тоже будет уходить примерно 30 минут. Ну, то есть один день вы смотрите урок, второй день вы выполняете домашку. Домашки я постаралась сделать максимально креативными, то есть, конечно, есть и письменная часть, но есть и основная часть – это практика. Я не буду сейчас рассказывать всех секретов, это моя методика личная, которую я сама произвела на свет, можно сказать, которая действительно очень, очень рабочая, очень помогает людям, и вот в, теч... в таком режиме две недели вы э, работаете. То есть буквально 20-30 минут в день вы занимаетесь, э, либо смотрите уроки, либо практикуетесь. Э, вы также можете выбрать уровень, то есть как выбирать уровень, если вы, например, четко знаете, что ну, вот у меня начинаш... я начинашка. Э, у меня такой относительно начальный уровень, или, например, я там столько всего учила, но я все напрочь забыла, и говорить я тоже не могу, поэтому вы выбираете, например, первый уровень. Если у вас уже вот были попытки это все вспомнить, вы недавно повторяли, где-то занимались, тогда вы можете прийти на второй. А третий уровень только для участников моей программы. То есть если вы прошли уже второй уровень, и на третий я беру уже своих учеников. У меня половина группы уже тех людей, которые проходили ранее этот курс, ну, другую ступень я имею в виду. Сейчас какая-то мысля была, убежала. I totally agree with you. Наталья вот у нас прошла первую ступень, вторую сейчас идет на третью. Да-да-да. Сейчас, сейчас. А, я хотела сказать, что по выходным можно отдыхать, можно не заниматься. Я прекрасно понимаю, что, естественно, отдыхать надо тоже и мне, и учителям, и вам, и всем-всем-всем, семья, развлечения. Это, конечно, надо оставить в жизни. Вот. Но вы знаете, я вообще за то, чтобы английский учить не уча. То есть что значит? Если вы просто будете сидеть, смотреть там какие-то видео, все записывать, записывать в тетрадку, зубрить, так вы... Никогда не почувствуете свободу. Вот то, о чем мы говорили с Лукой, то, о чем он, в общем-то, вам говорил, что 
язык надо учить, делая ошибки. Язык надо учить через практику. И я стараюсь максимально вот это внедрить в свой метод. Даже если вы где-то будете ошибаться, это не страшно, потому что самое важное, самый важный навык – это научиться говорить, понимаете? А чтобы научиться говорить, нужно практиковать этот навык. Все то есть просто, Ватсон. Понимаете, чтобы научиться ходить, нужно ходить. Чтобы научиться водить машину, нужно водить машину. Чтобы научиться говорить, нужно развивать навык говорения. И причем, смотрите, язык – это же не просто говорение, это такой синтез. Это общение. Общение из чего состоит? Из понимания на слух, из знания грамматики и из вокабуляра. И из умения, четвертый да, компонент, это все сказать. Потому что если вы знаете, как это пишется, вы не знаете, как это сказать, вы не умеете произносить, например, то вы никогда этого не сделаете. Поэтому во всех моих программах я вот делаю вот этот синтез, совмещаю. Очень большой упор идет на практику. Как во время программы, так и еще, кстати говоря, у нас обязательно будет в конце этого курса скайп-уроки, э, групповые скайп-уроки, на которых мы все встретимся, но ну, не все группы, небольшие группы, э, и э, повторим это все, всем, весь материал, который вы прошли, попрактикуемся, закрепим материалы. Э, э, вот поэтому, наверное, если в двух словах совсем, то... Это примерно так звучит про мой курс. Какая цена в евро? Каролина, я вам сейчас скажу цену в евро. Так, вот смотрите, у нас там три пакета. Первый пакет – стандарт. Стандарт – это значит, что вы, вы получаете доступ ко всему, вы добавляетесь в чат, вы выполняете домашки. Только у вас нет проверок от куратора и меня. И а, такой, такое участие две недели стоит всего лишь 40 евро. Это на самом деле совершенно недорогая цена за то, что вы получаете. Если вы хотите, чтобы ваши домашки проверялись куратором и мною, тогда вам нужно приобрести пакет «Стандарт». «Стандарт» – это все, что входит в обычный пакет, плюс проверки, плюс работа с вашим произношением. Я проверяю ваше видео, ваше аудио, куратор проверяет ваши письменные задания. И такой пакет стоит 52 евро за две недели обучения. То есть, ну, я считаю, что это тоже все, что я смогла туда собрать, все свои, на самом деле, знания, весь свой путь, это не стоит 52 евро. Однако, конечно, я хочу, чтобы гораздо больше людей прикоснулись к этому методу, гораздо больше людей поняли, насколько это все работает, насколько, на самом деле, можно с удовольствием и с легкостью учить английский и получать при этом эффект, Именно поэтому я делаю вот такие вот недорогие цены. Ну и для совсем уже, знаете, таких капризных учеников у меня есть три вид места, где ко всему выше перечисленному еще прилагаются два индивидуальных урока по скайпу со мной. Ну, то есть уже вы две недели занимаетесь, занимаетесь в группе, в мини-группе, и потом, после этого, после прохождения двух недель, мы с вами встречаемся еще два раза в скайпе, и закрепляем все материалы. Такой доступ стоит 145 евро. Так, подождите, я вас потеряла. Где вы у меня? Вот. Премиум. Ну, если бы вы меня спрашивали, какой э, пакет брать лучше, то, конечно, премиум. Чтобы была проверка, чтобы была обратная связь, э, чтобы вы могли лишний раз спросить что-то у куратора, у меня, конечно... Цена там совсем вообще разница в 12 евро, но а, в плане обучения она все-таки весомая. На этом все, ребята, я с вами прощаюсь. Большое вам спасибо за все это время, которое вы были с нами. А, я надеюсь увидеть вас на наших новых эфирах. Подписывайтесь на канал, приходите ко мне на курс, который стартует 18 числа. И, кстати, очень важный момент на курсе – это то, что вы не будете зависимы от времени. Вы можете заниматься, вы можете просматривать урок в любое время. То есть вам открывается первый урок, у вас есть 48 часов для того, что, для того чтобы выполнить этот урок. Поэтому у нас люди живут действительно по всему миру, и каждый выполняет в своем режиме. Но просто вам там надо будет выполнять практические задания, вам нужен будет кто-то, чтобы это сделать. Но, опять же, это не, не проблема, потому что люди живут в разных э, городах и странах, континентах даже. Эм, вы можете присоединиться, ну, естественно, старт завтра, поэтому присоединяйтесь 18 числа. Но если вдруг вы смотрите этот урок 
на этот прямой эфир. А, спустя пару дней, то четверг – это последний день, когда вы можете присоединиться, поэтому все возможно. Главное было бы желание. That's it for today. I wish you all to have a great evening or day. Thanks for being here with us and see you soon. Bye-bye. Deal.